All right, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Wild Sparrow and welcome back to GFW. I'm starting on this screen so you guys can see why the show turned out the way that it did. Um, I don't have a whole lot of people. I don't have Austin Aries. Uh, he's working elsewhere. Uh, these two I already knew I wouldn't have. Uh, I don't have Elijo the Fantasma. I don't have EC3. I don't have James Storm. I suspended Jeff Jarrett for starting a fight with Petey Williams. Uh, Kushida is working elsewhere tonight as well, but I knew that. Uh, and Rockstar Spud is also working elsewhere tonight. So that is why I don't have those people. So I'm going to be jump cutting to our usual screen so you guys don't get spoiled on what g what's going to happen in the show. All right, and we're on our usual starting screen for the show. Um, this is two shows before GFW Victory Road 2018. I'm very hyped for that event. A lot of high-profile matches. Uh, am I sure I should start the show? Yes. Let's start this show ASAP. All right. So we open the show with Sting addressing Aries Liger and Ishimori to open the show. Uh, Sting announces that he has suspended Austin Aries for a week. So uh, this week he won't be appearing. He is suspended. Uh, because of what he did last week, which was very disrespectful to have someone dress up as, as Jushin Liger, uh, who clearly isn't Jushin Liger. It's very disrespectful. Uh, you don't take uh, another wrestler's mask and you don't put it on someone else. Uh, so he suspended uh, Liger, uh, not Liger, he suspended Aries, and uh, Liger says that he was so uh, humbled by Ishimori uh, coming out to his defense uh, to his honor's defense last week that he has requested to tag team with Ishimori this week uh, to take on whoever is willing to take them on. So the match ends up being Jushin Liger and Ishimori teaming up against Chris Adonis and Eli Drake. Jushin Liger and Ishimori defeat Eli Drake and Chris Adonis in 819 by pinfall with a brain buster on Adonis. Nothing to note about their chemistry together. Next we have an angle to promote the return of Jay Lethal. And we have Rosemary defeat Brandy Rhodes with a Skyward Suplex in a non-title match. And Awesome Kong attacks Rosemary right after that non-title match. Next we had Bracken Sutter versus Pagano in an X Division match. Um, Braxton Sutter easily disposes of Pagano with a flatliner at 7.59. Uh, he then uh, requests an X Division title match against Chuck Taylor for what he's been doing uh, lately, uh, refusing to even acknowledge Braxton Sutter's existence. And Sting agrees and says that at Victory Road it will be Chuck Taylor versus Braxton Sutter for the X Division Championship. Next we had Christopher Daniels defeat Kingston in his return match with an Angel's Wings. His legend gimmick got an above average rating. Uh, he debuts with a 51, which is pretty good. Not debuts, but returns, but you know. So yeah, that's pretty good. Next we have Impact telling uh, Matt Seidel that, okay, we've been bickering a lot, uh, but we can solve our issues at Vic Victory Road in a one-on-one -on -one match, get that out of the way, and move forward to whatever we want to do next. Uh, Seidel declines this and says that fighting each other won't solve anything. Then in a freestyle segment, uh, we get a vignette for the debut of Ray Phoenix. Phoenix, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. This uh, Ray Phoenix is the brother of uh, GFW's own Dark Pentagon, uh, a great wrestler in his own right. He will be in the main event in his debut facing... Uh, LAX stable member El Texano Jr. And in a bout that had good heat and decent wrestling, Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix, whatever, defeated El Texano Jr. in 1442 with a Spanish fly. So winning in his debut, but it amounts to nothing because here comes LAX, Sons, Dark Pentagon, to beat Ray Phoenix down. Um, they beat him up. The lights go out suddenly. Penta returns, he clears the ring, attacking uh, LAX stablemates, 
and hitting the fear factor on Ray Phoenix. He is the last man standing. He beat down the people that were beating down his brother, and then he beat down his brother just for good measure. We have a 77 rating. Awesome. Increase our popularity in 32 regions. Dark Pentagon returns. That equals money. All right. So let's advance to the next day uh, and see what Friday has in store for us. I don't think I'm currently negotiating with anyone. Uh, I just had to negotiate with uh, Christopher Daniels and Jay Lethal because they were old TNA guys I wanted to see back. And also because, you know, sometimes I get these roster shortages uh, because uh, they go to other shows that aren't my own. Cool. Uh, Phoenix leaves LU, AW. Ba, ba, ba. Why is he left all of those places? Oh, to sign with me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we have Ray Phoenix uh, exclusively with us. Uh, AJ Styles has signed an exclusive contract extension with the WWE. Pagano wants to be used uh, better so that he gets momentum. And our impact gets a, 60, a 0.67 uh, TV rating, which is the exact same as last show, which is not bad. Oh, yeah, I did sign Matt Riddle. Totally forgot about that, yeah. Negotiations to sign Matt Riddle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb as well. Forgot about that. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, so, this will do it for this episode, I believe. Uh, this is These are our franchise players, so uh, very interesting group. Uh, let's see who the game recommends in the, uh, the Hidden Gems section. Uh... I mean, I could sign Joe Hennig and cheerleader Melissa and Madison Rain and Jason Paul, but I have nothing for them, you know, and the women's division is already pretty full, uh, you know, and, and a lot of them aren't even doing anything right now, honestly. I don't know how to use them, you know, the ones that aren't in the title chase. Uh, Jason Paul, I, I just think that even in his prime, he wasn't that good, and... I have nothing for Joe Hennig, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm probably just going to leave him there, uh, and uh, never in uh, a million years would I sign Ivalice, so that's not happening. Alright, so we have uh, one match, well, two matches set for GFW. Um, uh, Vic Victory Road, yeah, Victory Road. We have our world title match, or do we? No, we don't, we don't. We don't, but that's probably going to be Ethan Carter III versus uh, Dark Pentagon. Uh, and we have... Um, um, what What was it? Oh, we have the X-Division Championship match, uh, Taylor versus, versus Sutter, and... Um, the Knockouts Championship match, Rosemary versus uh, Kong. The Grand Championship match, Aries versus Liger. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do about this. Possibly Omega and Ibushi versus uh, the Dynasty. Uh, and this, again, will be uh, Dark Pentagon, probably. So, yeah. In the meantime... That'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in whatever I upload next.